to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes All The Way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be looking at a new game, and that is World of Tanks. It is a free-to-play, I'm not really sure what genre you could go and classify this as, tank simulator, third-person shooter, kind of, whatever genre you want to put it under, this game is very unique, as I go and destroy the car brutally, but... This game is really, really, really exciting because it's completely different to anything else I've played in my life. I'm basically a first-person shooter MOBA guy, so I like to be a right up in the action. And this game doesn't exactly cater to it, so when I see this guy and I try to take him 1v1, it really doesn't work out. Try and line up that shot and then he gets like 4-5 into me due to the fact he has a semi-automatic machine gun and I'm just here stranded. He shoots out my suspension. I'm a bit screwed, but I'm going to go and clutch it out a little bit later. But this game is really interesting because it's completely different. It's very strategy based. You have to sit back and really plan out your movements. It's not like you're going to be running in with tanks and just shooting each other like an arcade shooter per se. This is more strategized so you're going to be sitting back trying to take out people from extremely long ranges and that goes it means that you have to go and aim ahead of people as well. So if one of those people that want to sit back and chill and just try to take out your enemy bit by bit, then this game is definitely for you. Going back to the game, I'm still in a bit of a sticky situation. My steering has just come up. My teammates died. I'm going to go and avenge him, line up the shot, because you can see those dots go and indicate the accuracy. And I go and take out my first tank in this game. And I was very proud of that. All the work I put in, and that guy was just trying to shoot the wall basically the whole time. I pop out, boom, put one into him, and he is gone. And one good thing about this game is if you're a person like I just killed and you die, you can go and leave the game and go straight back into another one. So you don't have to go and stay the whole time. And sometimes these matches can last quite a, lot, quite a long time because people are trying to outmaneuver each other. Another really good thing about this game is the fact it has a lot of different tanks. Now, I'm not a tank expert, but it has a lot of different tanks from a lot of different countries. You've got from Britain, you've got from Germany, you've got from China. You've got a lot of different stuff that you can go and use in this game, and they are different classes. For example, I'm using the light tanks at the moment. Basically, they're really shitty, but they have a bit of speed behind them. Medium tanks are a bit more heavy and obviously kick a bit more, you can shoot people way, way, way easier, and then you have the good old heavy tanks. And saying that, you can go and experience more and more tanks the more you play the game, or if you put a bit of money into the game as well, and whatever that decision is, I guarantee you're going to have a bit of a fun time. You have to put a bit of time into it before it gets super enjoyable, but it is still a really entertaining game and definitely something you go and play with mates, just rolling in a squadron of tanks and just wiping out people would be pretty cool indeed. And here's a bit of a Example of the long-range combat. I'm trying to take out this guy. Didn't realize that I had to get my accuracy a bit low and I would have got the killing blow, but I just miss him barely. He puts one into me, but my teammates and I do go and finish him off. Now, talking about the graphics, they look absolutely beautiful. The way the tanks look, the way the maps look. These, this is on relatively low graphics. This is on the quote-unquote standard setting. And the improved setting, where it's all max, it does lag me a little bit, but it's still really nice to watch. The motion blur, everything is just sick as. And if you can go and run it on max settings, I definitely suggest you guys too. Everything about this game is well polished, and that's good. If you like a nice, slow-paced, strategical shooter, who well, isn't really a shooter anyway, then this game is definitely for you. I'll put a link in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Marvin Ads, Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under.